Hi everybody, I'm going to show you today how to add some really excellent detail to your standard pictures. So let's get started, let's bring in a picture of one of my grandbabies and here we have the picture that we're going to alter. First of all we'll make two copies of it by pressing the Ctrl and J key on the PC and we're going to group these two layers together. So I highlight both of them and press Ctrl G on the PC to make them into a group. And we need to change the group to overlay. So it just overlays the main picture. Now we'll open the group up and we'll change the top one to a vivid light. And you can see the changes taking place immediately. Now we need to invert this. So while it's still highlighted, just press the Control and I key on the PC. There we have it inverted. Now we're going to change this to a smart filter, smart object, just the top one. And now what we're going to do, believe it or not, is go into the filter and use a blur. And what we're going to use is a surface blur. Now you can play around with these settings, but uh, bear in mind the preview's on so it'll show you straight away as you alter the settings, the detail that comes out in your picture. So pick one that's not too pronounced and uh, fits your picture and brings out the detail. I usually set the top one between 20 and 40. You can see that's too much there. And the bottom one, you can keep pretty low between 10 and 20. Uh, we'll set that one there and you can see the detail. Just a minute. Yep, set that about there. Right, a bit more. Yeah, it looks about OK. Right, we'll press OK on that. And now I'll show you the difference between the two by clicking the layer on and off. There you go. Just look at the rock there. Pretty basic. Turn it on and you see all the detail that's been brought out in the picture. Oops, turn that layer off. Right, on and off. There we go. You can see the detail that's brought out in that picture. It's amazing just what is it a minute to do that so what we'll do is we'll save that top one to the desktop as detail and what I'll do is I'll put these up at the end of the video so you can see the difference between the two and uh, have fun doing yours so we'll save that one as detail then what I'll do once that's saved is I'll turn the group layer off and save the original picture as standard and as I said I'll put these up on the end of the video so you can see the difference between the two let's say have fun adding details or bringing out the details should I say on your pictures have fun guys catch you all later